Have you ever wondered what the difference is by setting the NVIDIA control panel to quality as opposed to performance? Well, that's exactly what I'm testing today. So sit down, strap in, let's go. So before we get started with the video, if you subscribe to my channel, if I could just ask you to go to my YouTube page, if you are subscribed, just make sure that you got that little notification bell selected so that whenever I drop a new video, you are notified. Really help me with the algorithm. If you're watching for the first time, if you enjoyed this content at the end of the video, please consider subscribing. App that, let's get to the video. So guys, what I tested in today's video, as mentioned in the intro, is the difference between using the quality setting in the NVIDIA control panel and using the performance setting. So currently I'm on quality, so I'm just gonna show you what it does actually change. So what quality adds is anisotropic filtering, it puts it on times eight by default. Anti-aliasing mode, it switches to override any application setting. And then anti-aliasing setting puts it on four times. And then the only other thing that actually does change in the in video control panel is texture filtering, negative load pass. It takes it from allow and puts it on clamp. And when this clamp is combined with uh, anisotropic filtering, um, it stabilizes your image and, and improves your image, but it has to be combined with anisotropic filtering. Um, and then the only other thing that I changed manually was to put texture filtering from quality or a high performance onto quality because that doesn't change if you use the quality setting everything else is pretty much as is and then obviously i tested that against um, the performance setting so let me just show you how things change up when you when you apply a performance which i assume that most of you guys if you're watching a video like this and you want the most performance you're probably going to have your own video control panel set to performance but as you can see so then the only thing that I change is high performance, apply. And then this will put all my settings to the bare minimum. Sharpening off, I always use low latency mode because I don't play online games. Um, prefer performance, prefer maximum performance, unlimited shader cache, texture filtering, negative, negative load biases on allow. Texture filtering is high performance and everything else has been set to its lowest common denominator. But anyways, let's get to the results because just talking is boring. So guys, all my games are tested at medium settings with the exception of The Last of Us. Performance has been degrading on my system since the Windows update about a month ago. So I use the low, uh, low setting with FSR set to, uh, to quality and then Returnal uh, you, uh, my computer's under spec, so I use the low setting with FSR set to balanced. And then on the Resident Evil 4 Remake, because the settings are quite long and complicated, I just use my in-game settings, which is a mixture of medium, high and low. Everything else is tested at medium settings, where FSR 2.0 or 2.1 is available, I use the quality setting. And then guys, I mainly have single player games, or only have single player games on my computer, so I don't test multiplayer games. Um, and then your mileage may vary. I test on a GTX 1650 laptop. So I think if you're on an RTX platform from RDX 3060 or up, these NVIDIA control panel settings will probably make less of a difference for you. Because obviously a GTX 1650 is slightly older, so these little settings will give you a little bit of extra performance here and there. But if you've got a powerful laptop, these little settings, or powerful GPU, these settings won't really make that much of a difference. And then lastly, I am on the latest NVIDIA driver, which I absolutely love. It's got great performance. So guys, as mentioned earlier, I tested using the quality setting versus the stock standard performance setting, which I recommend if you're going, uh, uh, looking for performance. So let me start off with performance. When I add up all the uh, average FPSs over 12 games, my average FPS is 858 divided by 12, and my average FPS per game is 71.5. And then I do the same thing for the 1% lows, add them all up. Then my total FPS or 1% lows over 12 games is 667 divided by 12, and my average FPS per game is 55 
0.58, 1% lows that is. And then what I do is I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS and it gives me that fantastic stability for this driver of 77.73%. So the thing that I changed for this benchmark is obviously this is the same. Uh, these are my performances, what my, my, uh, my NVIDIA control panel is always set to. So by, uh, by changing it to quality as opposed to performance, you can see when I add up all the average FPSs over 12 games, my average FPS count was 827. So you can see there is a 31 FPS drop. Average FPS per game, when I divide that total amount by 12, average FPS per game is 68.92. And then I do the same thing for the 1% lows. Add up all the 1% lows. And over the 12 games, my to total 1% lows was 636. Divided by 12, so my average 1% low per game is 53. And when I divide the 53 by the 68.92, it gives me a stability when I have uh, the NVIDIA control panel set to quality of 76.90%. So not a major knock in terms of stability. There's about a 1% drop in stability if you use, if you go from the performance setting to the quality setting. But, um, especially if you are using GTX hardware, uh, you want every drop of performance that you can get because this GTX 1650 is probably going to be, by the end of this year, it's probably going to be end of life completely. Next year, uh, you probably won't even run games. So every drop of performance is very much warranted. So you can see from going from performance to quality, you're dropping 5% in performance in terms of the average FPS as well as the 1% lows. And then you, it becomes 1% one, 1 less stable, which isn't that important. But the thing is you are losing 5% performance. So guys, as mentioned at the start of the video, if you're watching this type of video, I pretty much guarantee that you're probably not using the quality setting. It was just a nice little test that I wanted to see what the performance is like in games. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section. As always, if you're still watching, you haven't subscribed as of yet, now's the time to do so. It's people like you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers.